Friends, can you think of the most recent trip you have been on? Some may have gone on a camping trip. Me, I went on a road trip. Or maybe you went to a different state or a country on a plane. Or even a trip to the backyard. Or maybe Costco or H Mart. Some may disagree and hey, that is okay. But I believe that it doesn't matter where we go for an adventure, but it matters who we are going with. That makes it fun, memorable, and worth it. In today's Bible passage, we are looking into Paul's first missionary journey. If you missed last week, we are currently on a new sermon series called L-O-L, which stands for Living Out Loud. For who? For God. Amen. As Christians, as followers of Jesus Christ, we want to live our faith out loud so that many will see and know how wonderful our God is. Let's LOL and let God's light shine in all that we do. Open up your Bibles, if you haven't already, to the book of Acts. We will be reading a little bit from Acts chapter 13 and 14. Shall we watch today's Bible passage together? Saul, who became known by his Roman name, Paul, was with the church in Antioch. The Holy Spirit chose Paul and another believer, Barnabas, for a special work. So they obeyed and left Antioch to do the work. God led Paul and Barnabas to tell the good news about Jesus to not only the Jews, but the Gentiles, or people who were not Jews. Paul and Barnabas traveled to Lystra, and Paul healed a man there who was lame. The man had never been able to walk. The people saw what Paul had done, and they thought Paul and Barnabas were gods. They began to worship them. But Paul and Barnabas tore their clothes and shouted, No, we are not gods. We are men just like you. We want to tell you the good news of God. Then some people showed up from Antioch and Iconium, cities where Paul and Barnabas had preached about Jesus. These people caused trouble. So that the people in Lystra turned against Paul and Barnabas too. They threw stones at Paul and dragged him out of the city. They thought he was dead, but the believers in Lystra gathered around Paul and he got up. The next day, Paul and Barnabas went to the city of Derbe. They told people there about Jesus and many people believed. Then they went back to Lystra and to Iconium. They encouraged the believers there to continue in the faith. They told the believers that they would face suffering because they believed in Jesus. Paul and Barnabas also chose leaders for the churches there. Finally, Paul and Barnabas returned to the church in Antioch. They reported everything God had done on their journey and how God had helped them share the good news with the Gentiles. Paul and Barnabas faced many people who rejected the good news about Jesus. But God had a plan for Paul to share the gospel with Gentiles, no matter what troubles Paul faced. Many believed in Jesus. The church grew and the gospel was shared so that people all over the world could be saved from their sin by trusting in Jesus as Lord and Savior. The good news of Jesus Christ had spread all over all across. Remember what Jesus told his disciples before going to heaven? Acts chapter 1 verse 8. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you will be my witness in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. You see Jesus's followers preach the gospel in Jerusalem and the good news spread to places like Judea and Samaria just like what the Bible said. Meaning more and more and more people believed. Not only that, but new churches began as both Jews and Gentiles began to follow Jesus. The good news is for everyone. 
Saul, who now we know by his Roman name, everybody, Paul was with the church in Antioch. Paul was no longer someone who persecuted Christians, but a Christian missionary who was devoted to obeying God's call to go and tell others the good news about Jesus. In today's passage, the Holy Spirit chose Paul and another believer, Barnabas. Can you say Barnabas? For a very special work. God led them to tell the good news of Jesus, not only to the Jews, but the Gentiles. And this, my friends, was the first missionary journey. And if you're thinking what I'm thinking, it wasn't easy. Paul and Barnabas traveled to Lystra and there Paul met a man who was crippled from birth and had never walked. Mm -mm. This man listened to Paul speaking about God and Paul saw that in this man's eyes, he had the faith to believe. He had the faith to be made well. So Paul healed this man with the power of God. But when people saw this, they didn't praise God. They praised Paul and Barnabas thinking they were God. Were they? No. no. But Paul and Barnabas tore their clothes and shouted in verse 15, men, why are you doing these things? We are also men of like nature with you. And we bring you good news that you should turn from these vain things to a living God who made the heaven and the earth and the sea and all that is in them. Basically, they were saying, we are not gods. Hey, brother, we are not gods. We are men just like you wanting to share the good news of Jesus. But then some Jews from Antioch and Iconium, cities where Paul and Barnabas had preached about Jesus, came and persuaded the crowds so that the people in Lystra turned against Paul and Barnabas. As we read in Acts chapter 14, they threw stones at Paul, dragged him out of the city. But did that stop Paul from sharing the good news? No. Nope. Paul and Barnabas continue to visit other cities after they physically recovered to share about Jesus and many, many more people believed. The amazing thing about today's passage is that although the people of Lystra and Iconium refused to accept the good news, even to the extent of stoning Paul, Paul and Barnabas went back. They encouraged the believers in Lystra and Iconium to continue in their faith. Paul knew that following Jesus didn't mean walking out in clouds, Doop, 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 doop. It is actually the opposite. Believers will face suffering because they believe in Jesus. Friends, the world is full of suffering, physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual, because we live in a fallen world. Sometimes when we say we believe in Jesus and try to live out loud, our friends, our communities might think and call us names that aren't true, but that should not stop you from living out loud. That should not stop you from sharing the good news. Living life is hard. Believing in Jesus, following Jesus, living a life that reflects Jesus is hard and it only gets harder. But every time you fall, Every time you think you make a mistake and your selfishness grows or you have trouble getting back up, I want you to look to Jesus. Jesus who did nothing wrong was blamed for something, everything he did not do. He was beaten, persecuted, and crucified. That wasn't the end of the story. Jesus was raised to life. Jesus defeated death. And because of Jesus, we are able to get back on our two feet because the Holy Spirit gives us the strength and power to do so. One of my favorite Bible verse in John 16:33, it says, in this world, you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome this world. Let's pray.
Heavenly Father, we thank you that the good news of Jesus is for everyone. We thank you that every time in our suffering, we have Jesus to look to. We thank you for Jesus, who is our eternal mediator, who prays on our behalf forever. Every time we are selfish and rebellious towards you, help us, help me to run to you, because Jesus' work on the cross guarantees our forgiveness. We are your children forever. And Lord, in this world, we want to reflect our King, you. We want to reflect your kingdom that is already here and will come fully in the future. Help us. We need you. We want to share your love with everyone and anyone that needs you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey everyone, I'm Lily and I'm going to show you the Hero Academy playing cards. The goal of the game is to collect three hero stars. Pretty cool, but it's not as easy as you think. All the cards have different powers. Like for example, the invisibility potion, where this card can only be played during your turn. Players cannot use power cards to attack you until your next turn. That's a strong card. Another one I like to use is Freeze, where the next player must skip their turn. That's really funny, to be honest. And each Hero Academy box will have a deck of these cards. So make sure to order them right away at treestump.org. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you guys at Hero Academy on July 12th. Bye. Bye. Four, three, two, one. and join us on a week adventure at Hero Academy. Kit, no kit, don't worry, don't miss out. Head over there, okay? Paul and Barnabas faced many people who rejected the good news about Jesus. We too will face many people who reject the good news about Jesus. But God had a plan for Paul just as he has a plan for us to share the gospel with everyone, no matter what trouble we face. Truth is, because of Paul's obedience, many believed in Jesus. The church grew and the gospel was shared so that people all over the world could be saved from their sin by trusting in Jesus as their Lord and Savior. God has a special plan for us too, and I challenge you friends to live out loud, LOL, this week so that many more people can receive God's gracious forgiveness and experience his unconditional love, LOL. LOL. Well then, I'll see you at Hero Academy. If not, see you next Sunday.